The Australian police on Tuesday said a partially charred body of an Indian youth has been found in New South Wales. Police confirmed it is the result of a racially motivated murder. In following a series of attacks on Indian students, the Australian government is worried that they will be deterred from coming to the country. Authorities say that they are trying to address the problem. We have increased police resources. We have given police wider powers to search for weapons. We have changed the law to allow for tougher penalties for hate crimes, and we are ensuring that more is being done to brief Indian students before they leave for Australia and after they arrive in Australia uh, on what it is to live in Australia uh, and what steps they should take. Varghese expects a decline in the, summer of, in the number of students this uh, year, and Australia's international student sector is the country's uh, third the largest export earner. Attacks against the Indian students in 2009, mainly in Melbourne, have led to violent protests by students and strained bilateral ties. An Indian government statement in early December said 100 attacks on Indians have been reported from Australia over a year, and the Australian government had previously said the incidents appear to be purely criminal.